All right, guys, so you see sticks on set, so it can only mean one thing. I have a lady uh, who knows her way around the drum, and she's an all-round entertainer. Her name is Miss Josie. Uh, she's in town for how long? Um, quite a while, until quite January. Until yeah. January, so we're yeah. going to dig in and find out. So what, what brings you to Ghana in the first place? Well, I am Ghanaian, so I need to be home. Um, but I've never been in Ghana um, during December, so it's about What have you been waiting for? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I said to myself, it's time I come in the festive season and see what the vibe is really about. So yeah, that that was that's the aim, just to feel it. I mean, even before we get into that festive season, what what are you picking up so far? Um, Ghana really loves Christmas. Like we really love Christmas. I'm seeing small decorations here and there, and everyone's just getting ready for like different activities and different events. So it's it's a vibe, and we haven't even reached Christmas yet. So um, I'm excited. Great. Uh, for those who don't know much about you, tell us about yourself a little bit. So I'm based in London, but my parents are originally from Ghana. Um, I play the drums and I dance as well, and I like to combine the both. So that's my, that's like the whole Miss Josie brand. It's a combination of drums and dancing. Dancing. How long did this, uh, ago did it start? Um, I started playing when I was eight years old, but then um, I started playing in church when I was 13. So since then, I've been playing for over 10 years in church, self-taught, basically, yeah. Okay, so Karen, how do you execute your art? Are you uh, out there at festivals, performing? Uh, how, how, how can people find you, usually? You can find me on social media. My uh, tag is underscore Miss Josie. Um, I can get bookings through there. I usually get bookings through there. I mainly play in church, like I said, but I'm trying to branch out and play with other other people other styles but my foundation is playing in church definitely yeah does that automatically mean that you do more gospel or only gospel i'm literally like Ghanaian pentecostal style <laughs> of drumming is my stick like that's 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 what i know but i want to branch out because you can be limited if you've done one thing for so long so yeah, i'm just trying to broaden my horizon essentially yeah and being online being uh on social media mm -hmm. what has been the reaction from the public those who haven't seen you playing churches um it's it's a positive reaction like the nigerians show me love and then the Ghanaians show me love especially when i did the cover to prince's um song which featuring sakodia they just they've never seen that before and if they have they haven't seen it in that light so they're showing me a lot of love and it, it's it's lovely because it's my own people supporting me so yeah so which of these performances has given you your most views uh most engagement yeah definitely it was the cover to prince's song and then i did another cover to kofi kanata's never again featuring chateau Ale. so it's definitely west african based songs i did one Tanzanian cover. I can't remember the song, but that also blew up quite well. Yeah. So when you're picking uh, songs to do covers of, uh, mm -hmm. what informs your decision? I have to see if I can actually play the beat first of all, because um, like I said, I'm so into um, my bases. What do you call it? Christian Pentecostal Ghanaian type. So I try to see if I can actually play the beat, and then if I'm comfortable with it, I can see what kind of mixes I can do, then I knew, okay, yeah, I'm feeling this, it's bringing up my, my ability, not something that will limit me. So it definitely has to be something that brings out my skills. It could be any pace, slow or fast, as long as it brings out, you know, my skills. Great. So while you're in Ghana, what are you hoping to uh, do, achieve during this uh, so-called festive uh, period and beyond? Yeah. I definitely want to catch myself playing with a live band. Like, that will make make my stay very very valuable i'm um, playing with a live band playing with prince um literally just getting myself out there as a Ghanaian lady drummer and like representing my, my, my it's good you're saying uh Ghanaian lady i think drumming is not something typically that is a, a field for women it, do you know the funny thing is the human body is designed to learn anything so gender's got nothing to do with it do you understand there, there are amazing female drummers. Beyonce's band is an all-female band, so there's nothing stopping us, but I think it's just about how you present yourself and how you push yourself out there. So I'm definitely pushing myself out there as a lady drummer and I specialize in Afrobeats. That's my niche. I mean, it's good you mentioned uh, something like someone like Beyonce. What's your aspiration? Do you hope to 
uh, see yourself playing drums for any one big act? And if so, who would that be? If I could play for a big act, um, wow, you put me on the spot now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really have a precise name. I just feel like the opportunity to just come and elevate me and so that I can build a legacy for myself and for my family, you know. So um, any any opportunity that will just really push my talent forward, that's, that's, that's the aim. Fantastic. It's been nice speaking with you. Uh, maybe before we wrap up, you can let them know how to find you yeah. and enjoy more of your music. Definitely. So my social media, my Instagram and Twitter is underscore Miss Josie. You can find me there, connect with me and all my work is on there as well. All right. We out. Bye.